hi friends in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to deal with a uh, unicode error tron truncated kind of errors for example now let me run this program now if i run it now it's going to say syntax error unicode error unicode escape code can't decode byte into blah 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 then that's root truncated your xx escape so that's what we are going to be working on today so let's get started hi please if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button and please do not forget to support me on paypal the link is at the description below so let's get started so now like this we run our app under here it says um it comes if we check the error right, right over here um it's saying that c um dot c over user dot user dot user dot desktop dot part the thing is that what you are trying want we want uh, to make sure that um the python this python program display our image which wherever the that, um that means we want to make sure that python loads our image to a certain directory so i'm loading it from my, my computer which is c over user stroke user dot over desktop slash i mean slash um, parts the name of the folder is parts.png but now when we run it it's saying unicode error blah 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 to make it the reason why it's saying that so the reason for this kind of error is that whenever you are trying to uh, access a directory a file or any kind of thing you don't just using the double apostrophe does not using double apostrophe for example when you write print then you write um your double you come right over here whether single or double apostrophe it doesn't um signify that um you should do any it doesn't signify any instruction that you have to load the certain file from this place that place or whatever here because if you just put it like that it's just going to look like it's an ordinary kind of string so but our main goal is not just a, an ordinary kind of string we want to access a, a certain file from computer then from here for example from computer then to users then to user then stroke desktop then stroke the name of the image uh, the name of whatever file loaded, whether it's an image or anything dot png I put dot png because it's an image. But what I'm trying to say is that you can't just load it with a double apostrophe quote or single apostrophe. You have to use for loading it to try and locate it directly. According to the way I understand it, to try and locate it directly, instead of you using something like um, double apostrophe like that to just try and locate it because your goal is to locate it in a certain directory file, not just an ordinary kind of or something like that so to do this you have to write to do this instead of you just leaving it as a string you have to do three things number one you write r right over here and under this apostrophe you put your um this is a raw string or they call it raw string then you you now call um you now put the directory and location of whatever you or let's run it now as we put our app and see the result now you see it displays an image right over here so i think that's how to um that's the first step that's the first uh, approach you can use and um, the second approach for it is that instead of you just putting a, a single slash you can put a double slash to the right a double slash to the right wherever you have your slash you put a double slash so let's run it now and see if it's going to give us any error you see it's not giving us any error we are able to put it in a certain way whereby the program reads it in a way that um, we want to access a certain file or a certain document or whether a file or an image or this third step for this is that you can you will use the opposite the left slash the left the left slash um left uh, the left slash um um this the text so we use our left slash 
a slash text so let's run it now you see it's running so it's working fine so i that's the approach of doing it so let's summarize what we did first the first step we use r r then ordinary um slash then right over here right over here and we run it so our second step is to remove this if you, you have to remove it so you double you put it you you mod, you double it so i run it and you see it's going to work now or the third step is to do the opposite direction one slash to the left each each um the, you are each each um this thing slash you move it to the left instead of the right so we run it again and when when we run it is showing our image so so that's all for this video thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial hi please if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the like button i also hit the subscribe button and please do not forget to support me on paypal the link is at the description below so thanks for watching and see you in my next video